Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be possible FIFA 14 Silvers Episode 3 and that is going to be the Liga BBVA players, so the Spanish First Division. Before we get onto the video though, you probably noticed that I haven't uploaded any videos for about a week now and that's because unfortunately my girlfriend's dad has passed away so I haven't really felt like making any videos and I've mainly just been spending time with her and her family and I probably will remain doing that for the next few weeks until everything's sort of sorted out. So if you don't see that many videos in the next few weeks, that is why I will still probably try and do a few more of these prediction videos, maybe one one or two a week, depending on how much time I get. But at the moment, my focus isn't really on FIFA and my YouTube channel. So anyway, on to the possible FIFA 14 silvers from La Liga, Liga, BBVA, whatever you want to call it. There's quite a few. I did have a look on that So FIFA website, and you can have a look and see what the current ratings are at the end of the season on FIFA 13 on the normal game. So I did have a look on there, and I did find quite a few players, not the best players, but quite a few that will possibly be down. Grady. The first is Alvaro Striker here, plays for Getafe. Uh, I think we'll just move on to the next one now, and that is Awate, I think Israeli goalkeeper, plays for Mallorca. I think that team actually, I think Mallorca actually got relegated, so he may end up in Liga Adelante, but he may get bought by another team, so you may see him as a silver next year. Next player is the Granada centre attacking mid Argentinian. He's called Buenanote, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He looks like he could be quite a good silver with possibly four star skills. Next one is Captavia, who will probably be made into a silver this year, possibly 73 or lower, as he's gradually been going down in ratings since he, I think he used to be about an 80 or something rated when Spain won the World Cup. He has been gradually going down in ratings. Next one is Diawara, who could look or could, looks to be a very, very nice silver. He does become one. He's quite possible as he was a silver last year, and he hasn't really done much for Sevilla this year. So, as I said, he could look like a very, very nice silver. Next player we've got here is Dominguez, who plays for Rio Vallecano. He is the Argentinian centre forward. He looks quite nice as well. Some nice stats there that could could actually be possible. Next one is Akiza, I think as you pronounce that name, he plays for Athletic Bilbao. He looks uh, he looks like he could be a really good centre-back with some nice pace there, decent defence and heading. I don't know why I've put him as a non-shiny there, it could be possible, looks like a sort of player that could be a non-shiny. Next one is a goalkeeper plays for Real Betis, that is Fabricio. Well, so FIFA, it did say he'd be going down from a 75 to a 72, so those are sort of stats he could have, probably a bit lower than that, but he looks like he could be a very nice goalkeeper. Next one is a left back for Sevilla. Another player hasn't really had a pretty, particularly good season, so so FIFA has put him down as a 74, so he could be quite nice. Next player is Gavilan. Again, so FIFA said that he would probably go down. He plays for Getafe as a left mid, and his stats probably will be a bit better than that, as they don't look particularly great, but they probably will be a tiny bit better. Next player is another Granada player, the Brazilian centre defensive mid, Irene. I have no idea how you pronounce that name. He could look quite nice. I think he was a silver last year, in fact, and so FIFA has him down from going down from a 77 to a 74. So he does look quite nice and could have some very good stats. Very good defensive player. Next one is Lassen, I think he's Algerian, again another player who plays for Getafe. He doesn't look amazing but he could be quite a good centre mid or centre defensive mid next year. Next player is a Uruguayan goalkeeper who plays for Levante. He could be quite a nice card next year with possibly good good diving, good reflexes and good kicking. According to Sophie, he did get a downgrade from 75 to 74, probably will be downgraded. So he looks like quite a nice player. Next player is Park, who I think is the one that's on loan from Arsenal. Got no idea whether he'll be staying at Arsenal or whether he'll stay at Celta Vigo, but either way, whichever team he ends up at, he'll probably be made into a silver and be a very, very nice Korean striker. The next one, the second last player, is a Polish centre-back, Perquise, plays for Real Betis. Again, this is another one that so FIFA said will get a downgrade. He does look like he could be a very, very nice centre-back. Although he won't be the fastest, he will have decent defending and heading. And the last player here that could be a silver next year in Liga BBVA is Sereno. You think he's on loan from Porto and I think he went on loan to... Real Valladolid, I think that's what that team is. So he probably will end up back at Porto, but you never know, may have another loan. And he was, I think he was a silver last year, actually. I think he played for a Bundesliga team when he was an on-shiny. I think I've got the right player there. So yeah, he could be a nice silver with 66 pace, pace around that, and decent defending and heading. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed these predictions. The next prediction videos I think I'm going to do a Serie A, some really nice players there, and probably Liga de Brazil, and then do some more sort of rest of the world. And I think there's French League 1 as well to do. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like, and thanks for watching guys, cheers.